Looking for some cool gift ideas? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my top Christmas tech gift ideas for every budget coming up. Hey, what's up, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tips and strategy videos, as well as gift ideas videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes and links in the description below. I'll list out all of the gifts mentioned, as well as any bonus ideas that we have as well. Let's jump into the video. So the holidays are in full swing, so that means time to shop for others and maybe pick up a few things for yourself, especially because there's so many different deals and sales that happen this time of year. And everything I'm gonna be talking about in this video is actually some of my favorite things that I've tested myself personally. I own all of this stuff personally, nothing in this video is sponsored, and I'm just going through some of my favorite things to pass along those tips to you. So let's get into it. For category number one, let's talk headphones. Now, I love music, I love audio and podcasts, and a good set of headphones is really one of the best gift ideas you can get somebody. Plus, there's so many different scenarios where you use headphones, whether it's travel, or whether it's working out, or just being out and about. And so, here are my top picks. The first is the Bose QuietComfort 25s. Now, these are heavily discounted this year. I think they're over 40% off, and these are great headphones. Not only do they have good audio quality that Bose is known for for music and any other content that you listen to, but they are noise canceling, and this feature is insane. I'm actually surprised I haven't got them sooner because I travel a lot. And so, whether you just wanna have noise canceling at home and not worry about the dog barking or family noise, but when you wear these even on like a plane, it is like peace in the midst of chaos. Like the jet noise goes away and uh, you can just hear your music, really just read or sleep and they are incredibly effective. And these are the non-Bluetooth version and so they're a little bit cheaper. Again, at the time of shooting this video, they're coming in at I think 177 here in the US, but of course check recent prices in the YouTube description below. So you can get all the features and performance off of what would normally be about a $300 pair of headphones, especially if you're buying the Bluetooth versions. So I highly recommend these, and I think anybody would love them, especially travelers. Next up is the Audiofly AF100Ws. Now, these are some Bluetooth headphones that are not just for an active lifestyle, but also if you really love music. Audiofly is known for having audiophile quality earbuds. They have in-ears for musicians and things like that. So having a workout fitness headphone from them was something I was very excited about. Now they're a little bit more pricey coming in at $120 for a set of Bluetooth headphones. But again, the sound quality is incredible. And so if you have somebody in your life that is active and uh, I wear these for running, I actually ran an entire half marathon recently. These were on the entire time. I love these as a great gift idea. Yeah, they come with a cool case and um, something to definitely check out. And one other headphone recommendation are these Bose headphones that are in-ear that again are not Bluetooth. They do have a Bluetooth version, but I actually prefer the corded version. And the one downside of the audiophile headphones is they're just not heavy in bass. Now, if you don't want a ton of bass in your music, I love them for almost all music genres, but if I really want pounding bass, I found that the sound quality of these Bose he headphones are incredible, and these are also very affordable. These are the Bose SoundSport in-ear headphones. These come in at um, about $100 here in the US at the time of shooting this video, although I've seen some big sales on them. And because they're corded, you can just clip them to your shirt. I also like having them as a backup, because if you've ever had Bluetooth headphones that you forgot to charge, it can ruin your day, right? Because you're like, shoot, I can't listen to my music now. And so I highly recommend these as well, and you can find some incredible deals on them, lots of different colorways, and uh, a good price for incredible sound quality for somebody that also maybe is active and would love a great pair of in-ear headphones. Category number two is cameras. And first up is the Canon SL2. Now I've covered this camera a lot here on Think Media because it's such a great camera at a great price. It is probably one of the best budget DSLRs on the market right now. And this camera with the kit lens comes in for still $599, $600, but it's pretty incredible. You have a mic input, you have a flip screen to selfie. We've taken it out in a lot of situations and shot uh, footage with it. I've vlogged with it. And 
And so I won't go too into detail about this camera, but we'll link up a video reviewing it as well as post that in the description below. But if somebody was getting started in photography and or YouTube and wanted a great camera that can do both, the Canon SL2 is a great all around cut camera at a great price. And another camera that I've been loving from Canon lately is the Canon M100. Now this is a super cool, smaller mirrorless camera that still manages to include interchangeable lenses. And this camera actually has the same sensor as the much more expensive Canon 80D. And so you have, I think, 49 autofocus points. You can take great photos with this. You can do video clips with this, vlogging, Wi-Fi, so you can send the photos to your phone, flip screen for selfie mode for vlogging and taking selfies. And it also is just a kind of a cool camera stylistically, kind of targeted towards um, Instagrammers, people who wanna put a lot of content on social and bloggers. And it's available everywhere, of course, Amazon, the Canon website, but they also have these face jackets. And so if you wanna stylize your camera, kind of a cool feature, these are only available on the Canon website. So I have the red one here, and there's also one that was kind of more my workout color scheme, all my uh, you know highlighter yellow vibe uh, colors. And so kind of a cool thing, maybe a great gift idea for somebody who wants to be able to stylize and kind of put their personality around their camera. And again, all around incredible quality, but it's stunning that they've packed this many features into a camera at this price. And then one other camera recommendation is the Pictar. Now this is kind of a cool device for somebody who maybe wants to experience DSLR photography without actually getting a DSLR. And so what it actually does is it works with any iPhone. There's the regular size version for iPhone 4 through 8, and then there's the Pictar Plus that'll fit iPhone 6 through 7 Plus. This is an iPhone 6S, and it, your phone slides right in there, and it actually works with audio. You download the Pictar app, it makes sounds that are subsonic and you can control all kinds of things. You can control the exposure of your photos, you can go to different modes, ISO, and, and you can get all those features like controlling your aperture, your shutter speed, all those types of things. But it goes even further than that. There's a leveling feature in here, a lot of more advanced features like a histogram so you can actually see where um, details about your photos, affect flash, do different picture styles. And so kind of cool, knobs and wheels, works great. The Pictar comes in the plus version for 110 here in the US. And again, it actually is not changing the camera, so it's not improving the actual photo quality of your camera. What it's doing is it's giving you a grip and it's giving you the experience of a DSLR. So it's a fun gift idea, but also a great gift idea that's a little bit more affordable for maybe somebody that would love to get into photography, start learning shutter speed, ISO, start learning the ropes. And if someone is very passionate about mobile photography, this piece of kit can really take your photos to the next level by having all the micro adjustments, the ability to have a hot shoe and mount lights or accessories on your phone, tripod mounts, a lot of cool features in the Pictar. Next up is the SanDisk iExpand. Now this is a super cool device for backing up your phone or freeing up some space on your phone. It comes in different sizes, 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes. Really good reviews on Amazon. And again, our phones are always full, right? You shoot so many photos and videos. Maybe you don't wanna go back through and organize them. You just want to save them and back them up and then keep shooting. And all you gotta do is just slip it right into your lightning port of your iPhone or your iPad, download the app and then back everything up and you're good to go and one side is a USB port so then you can transfer those files easily to your computer and so there are a few different versions of the iExpand but the 64 gigabyte version I think comes in around $60 and the 128 gigabyte version comes in around $100 here in the US but there's I've seen a lot of good sales on these all season long so definitely check this out for maybe content creators or just anybody who uses their phone a, light, a lot like we all do and a great device to just free up space or to make sure that you can back up your phone with peace of mind, because maybe you don't want to use iCloud or something like that. Next up is the Aperture ALM9. Now this is a super cool, ultra portable LED light that can be used for video and photography, but also just for anybody. I know like my stepdad always loves having just like cool LED lights uh, that he uses for work and things like that, if they can be mounted places and whatnot. But this is a great light. Comes in at $45 here in the US. A lot of brightness, nine LED bulbs there. And it has a lot of cool things that come with it as well. 
comes with a little case. Um, I actually lost the mounting piece. This is just a different version, but you have the mounting piece on there. You can actually detach it from this entire um, piece here if you just wanna keep it in your pocket. So sometimes I like to use this for um, just bringing with me to events and you trust me, people will be pumped if like it's a very dark place and you're like, I got you. And you just pull that out of your pocket, light up the situation in something that literally fits in the palm of your hand. They also include a couple of different diffusion um, inserts so you can get that amber color or like a blue tone. And so it definitely has professional video application as well. And so this could be a cool light for anybody, whether just generally, if somebody would use it for something like work, but especially videographers and photographers, you can see it mounted on a camera here, you fire it up, and now you've got a great light that is super portable. The battery life can last for up to an hour and a half at 100% and up to 13 hours at the lowest light setting, which still puts off some light. So a super cool, pretty affordable gift idea. Up next is streaming sticks and streaming TVs. Now, these are very popular. There's a lot on the market. Of course, there's the Apple TV, there's the 4K version, there's Roku, there's Chromecast. A lot of them are super cool, so definitely do your research in the area. For me, a top pick is the Amazon Fire TV, the new version that supports 4K and HDR and has the Alexa voice remote. So of course, for watching YouTube content or Amazon Prime or Netflix or any of those various streaming services, the cool thing about having the Alexa voice remote is you can just talk to Alexa, ask her to search for things or take you to YouTube or wherever you wanna go. There's some gaming and some different things that happens with these. And Amazon is always very competitive with these products. So I think you can even grab the Amazon Fire Stick, which only supports 1080p for about $40, which is actually a great thing to say travel with if you wanna to go to a hotel room and just plug the stick in, hook up to Wi-Fi and watch Netflix or whatever. But I prefer, of course, the Fire TV because it supports 4K. So maybe you know somebody who got a 4K TV, maybe you know somebody who doesn't have streaming at all. All the TV needs is an HDMI port and you have access to all the features. And then of course the Alexa voice remote. So I believe at the time of shooting this video, this is coming in at around $70, but watch Amazon all season long, because again, they're always sometimes discounting it even more than that to be ultra competitive in the space. Coming up next is a couple tripod stabilization solutions from Joby. So first is probably one of my favorite pieces of just tech across the board. And actually was something that was given to me as a gift years ago, not this version, but an earlier version, is the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom. Now, this is a great device. You can mount, of course, cameras on top here, and you can do so many different things. I've mounted lights on this. You can put it on chairs, you know, put it on the table, wrap this around railings, and just such a great build quality. Nice little movable ball mount here on top to get the perfect angle, tighten it down. The leveling ball, really, really great. This comes in for $40 over on Amazon and is not just a great gift idea, but an essential piece of kit that I literally take with me everywhere. And then the other really cool thing that I've been loving lately is this Joby um, grip tight micro stand. As you can see, I just pulled it right out of my pocket here. It is super small. And so I love this because maybe you, um, you know, for me, I go running and I don't want to bring much with me. It's like just my phone. And I don't know if you've ever done this before, but sometimes I have done some time lapses, some photos that have been very sketchy. Like I set this up and like put a rock behind it, like hope everything is good to go as far as mounting my phone to take photos. Or sometimes I'm on a plane and uh, you just want to watch content on your phone or whatnot and you can't get it to stand up right. I actually have a pop socket on here. Another thing that is super cool um, for just gripping your phone. But even that, the way I have it placed, my phone doesn't like stay sitting up, it'll just fall over. And so in comes the Joby Grip Tight, and this is the XL version. So this is between 2.7 inches and 3.9 inches of what kind of a phone would fit inside of here. So plenty of big phones. And what's cool about this is not only can you have, you have a really tight, um, you know, like good, well-built metal build quality here for getting angles for maybe time lapses, shooting video clips with this, or as just a way to mount your phone and to watch content on a plane or at a coffee shop or things like that. The Micro um, Grip Tight XL comes in at $30 at the time of shooting this video, and it's potentially not just for content creators, but maybe other people who would want a way to mount their phone in style. 
And then finally is the Tascam US42 Mini Studio Creator. Now, this is a super cool device. It's an audio interface for personal broadcasting. So what does that even mean? Well, maybe somebody wants to start a podcast, they wanna do live streaming online from a desktop or a laptop, and have a lot of audio functionality that really is super cool. You have a couple XLR inputs for microphones. So let's say you wanted to do an interview show. You could plug the two mics in there, but then you also have sound effects buttons so you have programmable sound effects and this comes with really cool software that has a ton of features you can do reverb you can do instruments with this on those channels as well you can do an on air and off air button which allows you to mute things or not mute things you have an input for a smartphone so if you wanted to interview a guest you could have one person talking another person talking plug in the smartphone and that'll be part of the overall mix and you can mix that in the software You've got the headphone input. You can control studio, studio monitors and headphones separately. You've got broadcast mode and creator mode. And one of the biggest standout features about this is it also allows you to have pass-through audio, which means if you wanted to have people hear the YouTube videos you were watching or the music you were listening to, you can set all of that up with this. So kind of a creative gift, a cool tech gift idea, or maybe even a tool that you'd be interested in checking out for podcasting, for live streaming, and things like that. And Again, we covered this at CES a while ago. We have a full video if you wanna learn a little bit more about that. So we'll link it up on the YouTube card as well as in the description below. So there you have it. Those are some of my top tech Christmas gift ideas this year for different budgets. And if you wanna check out any of this stuff, we'll list out everything in the YouTube description below. But the question of the day is, what are your top tech gift ideas this year? Maybe some of the favorite things you've been testing or the things that you think would make a great gift idea. Definitely post those in the comments and remember that some of the best tips and feedback come from you. So definitely connect with everybody else from the Think Media community in the comments section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna check out a few other videos in our holiday gift ideas series, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.